Okay, everyone. Uh, I'm Justin Pate from the Rap Institute, and I see a lot of familiar faces, so hello, everyone. Uh, so for this demo, actually, we're not going to do it here. We're actually going to do it back in what I call the production pad, all right? So because what we're trying to do this year in the Rap Institute is not only show lots of different things to wrap, we want to show the whole process of wrapping in the sense of, like, from production to design, all that stuff. So uh, earlier I talked about what these guys are doing on the van. Later today at 3.30, interviewing uh, uh, Christina Burton from Curvaceous Wraps about how she came up with the design. Actually, earlier today in the booth, we had Brian Thompson. He actually works for Nissan and Airstream. He actually designed the Airstream. So we have lots of different levels going on here. But what I want to talk about now is how to prep the material for a wrap. And that basically means that this was printed on a Muto printer, and then it was laminated. And oftentimes when people think of lamination, they think of a stand-up laminator, this pressure with rollers and stuff like that. But this one is a flatbed laminator, and it's just catching on in America but in Europe it's pretty established and what I like about it is just it puts no tension on the wraps but also you can work it really really easy so for that we're gonna I'm gonna walk over here with Brian the camera guy and we're gonna talk to Mike Osmond so if you're interested in learning about lamination and how to laminate especially that work table which is really cool I'm gonna feel free to come on over so I'm gonna sneak through here What's up, dude? What's up, how are you doing good hey, good how are you all right Mike. Yeah, and Sir a Mike. mounter application tape. I got you. <laughs> okay, so this is Mike Osmond, CWT Work Tools. All right, so you are good to go. I think your mic is on or off? Off. There we go. On? Off? There we go. Okay, so Mike, uh, it's been great to have you in the booth this year. Thank and you, Justin. We've got a lot of people who are interested yep. in laminations, laminators right now. Right. So what makes this different, obviously, than the standard laminator that's available today? What we have is a 13-foot table where we can panel each piece instead of standing behind the roller and feed it in or going roll to roll. With, without the tension rollers that normal laminator would have on top, we won't stretch the cast vinyl film. Each square inch of it going down is gonna be two millimeter or one millimeter from the start to the end. There's no heat on the roller that'll also uh, stretch the film when you're doing it. So at the start and at the end, normally on a roll to roll, you'll have thin spots on it on your film. Well, exactly. I mean, so basically, you know, people are used to a, a laminator where basically you roll it in, you kind of crank the knobs and get it going through and stuff like right. that. But this is totally different where the panels are just laying flat, right. there's no tension on them, and then he's got a roller that comes down and then you just feed it. So we got a panel Good. right here that we can start. So basically right now, this is the lamination that's going on over top, and it's going over top of a print. So this particular print, this is Avery's 1106, which is their uh, material for high, like low surface energy. This lamination is for 1460. So what's great about it though, instead of caring about the whole roll, they're just gonna come here with the long handled cutter right now and just gonna slice it. So you're not gonna put on this giant piece because what often happens when you got a roller, obviously, you know the story, right. is that if you roll, if you load it wrong, it's game over if, for if your you entire print. And also when you're feeding up, you waste a ton of film. Right. And this film, obviously square foot wise, has been the 40, 45 cent range, I would believe. Right. And we've sheeted it off. So our waste on this piece is gonna be minimal. We have a couple of inches of waste that's actually going to hit the trash. So basically, you know, you got it to here. It's very easy and straightforward. You cut it down. But instead of, like, some people would think, okay, what are you going to do right now? Hand laminate it. You're right. not. What I want you guys to appreciate is once you guys set up with the roller, how easy yeah. this is. So how, how right. is that set up? What he's going to do is he's measuring the sheet now to cut off this little piece of waste. Okay. So he's lining it up. He'll come to this side, and he's going to cut it to where the film is going to be on the vinyl and not actually on the table. That way it saves cleanup at the end of the day. So the goal right now is you don't want the lamination touching the table. Right. Okay. That, and that's for cleaning purposes. At the end of the day, you don't want a lot of adhesive on the table. Right. So while we can cut it to the inside, what you want to do, this is the total waste we'll have doing that size print versus feeding it into a rolled normal ram laminator. So, so right now, having a, obviously a long handled cutter right now is massively is, important. Is so right now you have the panel here, so it doesn't matter if it's straight or crooked, as long as it fits on the table, you're good. As long as it fits good. on the table. So he'll so, put it back over and line it up. Thank you. So the idea right now is, so um, what, what I like about this is you can, you can install in sections. So let's say if you, you have 25 yards on a roll, and you load the roll <laughs> through a standard laminator, if it starts to drift or go off, there's a chance, or if it kinks, you might have to reprint right. the whole thing. What's interesting about this table is generally your panels for a car yep. or a wall are eight feet. They're not longer than that. Right. So basically right now, if you screw up one panel, you only screw up one panel as opposed to a whole roll. Plus, you have to think as a wrapper right now, all right? 
a lot of times we're wrapping bumpers and mirrors on cars, but what that creates is, we'll especially further. if the laminator turns okay. some knobs to kind of make you know glass when they're laminating, that's actually going to stretch the wrap before we even get to a bumper or a mirror. Then we get to a bumper or mirror, we're stretching the material farther, and sometimes when the material it's fails, it's right not here. because we did it wrong, it's because there's already tension on the material. <laughs> interesting. With this, there's zero tension at all, which is a really interesting concept. So what I also like about this table, is that later on in the show, you know, Mike and I, when Mike's doing the lamination here and stuff like that, is that we're gonna come here and we're gonna use this table as a tool. So that's why why it's called a work tool, is that you got a light under here, you can do your weeding here, you can do all your wraps here. This is your workstation, your base station for wrapping in a shop. Exactly. So basically, I mean, so you've been, how, how many, so you're based out of where? You're based out of Dallas, we're Texas? We're based out of Dallas, Texas. And we supply these across the world. We, we go into all of Europe, South Africa, Japan. Uh, Momaki Japan is actually a distributor for ours. So they include these with all their printers and use it in the same way. The idea of this bench is to take away the wooding bench that's in everybody's shop that's right behind their laminator and have a production bench. So now, even if you want to go roll to roll on a huge print, you're wrapping, let's say, an uh, uh, 18 wheeler. Right. And you have to do that. We can still get prints out on this table where the wooden bench won't be able to do that. Got it. Right, so we'll be, we can apply application tape over prints, weed vinyl, mount, laminate to boards, five by 10 boards on this one. We can mount, laminate, do panels, wallpaper. It doesn't matter what, we can do it all on this table. Which is great, so now so. we got this panel set up. Right. So what's the next step? Here you go. What Blake's so gonna do now is, on this glide beam, is we have bearings that go up and down on both sides and they poke out this way. So this is sturdy and you see how it slides. There's no pressure at all to it. We can move it right into position. On both ends are controls. Operates on both sides of the table. It's step. It doesn't go straight down and crush the fingers. So, what I, so right now, your goal is once you, you're kind of basically hinging it at the top. Yes. So, so once you lock it down, it's basically a hinge, it's locked what, in place. Once we've locked this roller down, as you was, Justin was just saying, I can't move the print either either on the bottom or the laminate. It's gonna, right now it's gonna go exactly where we just put it. So right now you just peel off the lamination. And this is the trickiest lamination to use because it's like one mil thin. Yeah, so this lamination is like 1.3, yes. super aggressive, interesting. 1.3, really aggressive. Is now well, what's great is later in the show, tomorrow, this is for the design for tomorrow, for the cooler. That cooler yeah. is, you know, it's texture plastic, low surface energy. You want the material to really conform. So you want a nice thin lamination with the right fill, but again, what we're doing here is we got different designs and little pieces, and so we're doing this in little pieces. So we're rolling the lamination up. And so you're doing this why? So it makes it easier to handle? Or? Yeah, so we don't have to flop it on the floor. Because we're on a carpeted surface, ah. if I was to put this, which is very staticky, ah. onto the floor, the dust and debris will stick to this film. Got it. Okay. And so by rolling it and leaving it on the table, we've kept it clean. So now we have it set up. This is the liner side? This is the liner side. It's going to come up. Ah, okay. And now what it do is just bring it forward and then we just walk, keep the liner on top of the roller. Ah. That way it's not going to go in front of the nip. And you push it out to the very end. Awesome stuff. And, the, and the, it's wrinkle free, bubble free. And the biggest thing what I like about it is tension free. But again, one, of the, one thing I try to teach on the Wrap Institute and everything is not skipping steps and you know not screwing up panels and you right. know if you forget a masking tape something. But the biggest thing is one of those things where if you're laminating, it's one of the, this is if you screw this up, it's not a game to, breaker. No. You know what I'm saying? It's really interesting. But as an installer right now, I, I see some of you are installers, you know that there's zero tension on this panel. That is good times. You know what I'm saying? It's like enter that job where you literally will feel it. Guys in Europe, this is why it's been popular in Europe for a long time, exactly. is those deep recessed areas on this van are not that big of a stress because there's no stress on the vinyl before you begin. And the vinyl can do what it's supposed to do, which is cool stuff. Right. right. Thank you, Justin. And so, uh, so basically you get this, and these tables, people always say, well, these tables are more expensive. Well, they are. They're more expensive than, say, like a normal laminator. But what you have to appreciate is this is your work table for your shop. Like, I know a lot of guys, like uh, this guy, when I first started really appreciating these wraps, he's like, dude, I invested in this. And this is like, I literally got rid of two employees 
because this speeded up. Like imagine doing boards. <laughs> Instead of you know squeegeeing boards and cutting them out by hand, you literally put like four boards here, take this thing and you literally wrap the boards and then you laminate the boards and you cut them out. Like it literally drops production time, yep. sometimes by a mustard like so 40, 50 percent. Ideally, if, let's say Blake is doing this side of the table. I have another employee down here that's weeding vinyl. As he gets through weeding it, all we have to do is send the roller down here. He applies the application tape right on top, sends it back over here. He does his next print. He spends about another 30, 40 minutes over here weeding vinyl, which yep. takes a while. And she finishes, he sends it back, so we're constantly doing production and never stopping. It's really cool stuff. Yeah. And for me, what I like about it too is, you know, in the booth, basically how we did in the, at the Rap Institute for this year, is everything got printed at Car Up City. They did a great job printing, but all the lamination got sent to Rapscon and it's sitting under the booth, and basically they're laminating everything during the show. So like tomorrow we're changing to Beach Day, so these guys are laminating the cool. They're actually laminating the window perf right now for the van that the trailer that's going on now. So it's just multifunctional. I love having the idea of production and how easy and simple and straightforward it is. So if you're interested in this ta this work table, definitely talk to Mike during the yeah. show. If you want hands-on demonstrations, don't do it on the stuff we're doing for the show. But they have extra stuff. We have extra. <laughs> they have extra stuff that you guys can play with because once you get the hang of it, what by the same guy in Europe who told me about the table right. in Europe, dude, his wife was doing the lamination like she was putting the rolls of lamination up because all she did is instead of yeah. taking a roll and loading it this way which is super heavy she would pull it cut a slice and then lay it on the table right. that's why she could do it by herself so, and it's just bam 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 so if you want to put your wife to work cool that's awesome stuff by not changing out rolls all the time on a laminator we're saving that little piece you always have to use exactly which that adds up at the end of the day the other thing you noticed how easy this was like you said your wife can do it girlfriend can do it the, the secretary that answers the phone can do it your laminator operator is no longer uh, professional that's hey, how you want to say it. it's not like printing it's a technique the yeah. lamination and that technique has to be learned over a p period of time those guys are real valuable whereas this one anybody can do it. and what you have to think about too is not so much at this show that we're doing is uh, color change you know color change is really popular in the industry right now it's just wrapping a color but what you can do is yeah. if you want to put like a little matte streak on a, on a piece or you want to experiment and show your client, we're going to put some sparkle on, you just cut a little piece, put this on, bam, bam, done, show it to your client, awesome yeah. stuff. So it's one of those things where this table, again, I'm not, this is the Rap Institute. Rap Institute is totally neutral. Yeah. I sought Mike out on purpose because I think this table's cool. Yeah. This is a valuable thing. If I was getting a sign shop today, I would buy a table like this because I think it just makes sense because this is where your whole shop is going to be based around and it's yeah. mistake-free engine. It's just cool stuff. That's it. Now I'll go over the table just one more time. We have solid steel on, the, on these rafters. Solid steel everywhere around. The only aluminum is going to be the side pockets. This unit weighs 1,400 pounds. Underneath the cutting mat, we have glass, which is going to keep it level. This is hardened glass. The, the glide beam has the bearings that, like I say, go up and down and moves really easily. We would attach on these bolts where we put the application tape and we would roll it around here so we can apply that really easily as well. A four by a, a five by ten board, if you're doing panels, can be easily be done by laying it on the table. Bring the glide beam to one end, and one person can do this. You do exactly as Blake did at the beginning. You would feed it around on this end instead of trying to reach across the table. You have full access at this end. You curl it under, drop the roller, and you move that direction, and your panel's out. We had an independent study done on this by a major franchise group on a steel laminator doing four by eight boards. It accomplished 22 of them because a, mo a, a laminator has a step motor in it. That's moving. We're moving this by hand. On the same study, that same that same franchise group did 45 panels using this board in one hour, doubled the speed of the laminator. That's crazy. So, so that's a little bit. Hey, do you have a show special in this? Yeah, the show special on this we have is 10% off, and we include all the free tools, compressors, and everything that goes with it, and we'll have 50% off on the freight from the Dallas area. All right. So if go. you're interested, Mike's here all day throughout the show and uh, tomorrow and uh, Saturday as well. But I thank you guys for taking the time to watch. And if you have any questions, feel free to talk to Mike. And then later yeah. in the next demo, uh, check the demo schedule. I think we're going to do recessed areas or furniture and stuff like that. Ceramic pros later today. And then we're going to talk with uh, Christina from uh, Curvaceous Wraps as well. So thank you yeah. for watching. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Cheers. Okay.